Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Caring in London. Today I'm gonna introduce a very very beautiful little town Greenwich. Uh, this is a place is where I live. How can you spend a day in Greenwich? So today I'm gonna introduce all the places you need to see when you come and visit Greenwich. Many people, you know, they're traveling in London, they spend lots of time uh, to visit the landmarks in London, uh, like Big Ben and Buckingham Palace, and that they probably don't have time to spend like two or three days in Greenwich. But I think Greenwich is a lovely place you can just at least spend one day. <laughs> it's gonna be quite a uh, busy day, but you can still do it. So today I'm gonna show you how can you visit Greenwich in one day. First question, how do you get here? Um, behind me is the lovely Thames River, so you can take the boat from central London and stop here. This is one stop, you can stop here. Um, this is Greenwich Station, so take a boat, you can enjoy the beautiful view and come to Greenwich. I highly recommend this way to come to Greenwich. If not, you can take a train, take buses, there are plenty of trains and buses can take you to Greenwich. Um, yeah, so if you take the boat, the first thing you'll see in front of you is this beautiful Carty Sock. I have did, I think, two videos about the Carty Sock. So check my pre previous videos. What's it like and do you want to visit? This place requires a ticket, but you can buy uh, two tickets together. This one and Royal Observatory. So this is the first stop, and I highly recommend you go inside to see what's it like. This is um, this little ship clipper used to carry tea from China and wool from Australia all the way back to England. So Cartisa definitely got loads of stories to tell you. Don't forget to go inside and have a look yourself. Um, okay, so that's Cartisa. One day in Greenwich, the second place I recommend is the Royal Observatory in Greenwich. <clears throat> Here it is. It's a very rainy day, so it's very quiet. <laughs> and behind me, <clears throat> so the first stop when you're off um, the boat, and you can see Carty Sark, the big boat, okay? And you can get a pass for Katisa and Royal Observatory because you'll pay for the tickets. So I highly recommend after Katisa, you come to this place. Um, this place, the ticket is 20 quid for adults. I think 15 quid for kids and under four go free. Um, yeah, so all you need to do is come to Greenwich. This is a massive park, Greenwich and then just walk all the way here. It's a little bit of top of hill, but not too bad. So this is the second place I recommend you do when you have one day in Greenwich. Because the two, Katisak and Royal Observatory, you need the tickets. These two are not free. And so after you visit Katisak and come to this place, um, there is a very, very famous marining line. Uh, people come here to take some pretty cool photos and this meridian line divided the earth into two parts, the west and the east. So you can take a really cool photo here just in the middle. One foot in the west, one foot in the east. Um, yeah, that's a cool photo. And then they have a really giant tele um, telescope and in this little room there are lots and lots of things to do. I've done a video um, in April, I think. So if you want to know more about this place, go back to my videos, um, Royal Observatory in Greenwich. You can know more about this place. Anyway, this is the second place I recommend whenever you have, whenever you visit Greenwich and you only have one day. <laughs> okay, one day in Greenwich, number three place you need to visit is this house behind me. This is Queen's house. And um, the number two and number number one, number two is Carty Sark and Royal Observatory. These two places require tickets. So 
if you need to pay for a place, you better go and see it first, right? And this place is free, uh, and it's also very, very interesting. Uh, it's, a, it's now an art gallery now, but this, um, uh, this building is also very beautiful, definitely worth a visit. When you walk down the hill from Royal Observatory, you can go to the Queen's House. And then beside this, this is a National Maritime Museum. So these two are free and they're together. Okay, one day in Greenwich, after you visit the Royal Observatory on top of the little hole in on top of the little hill in Greenwich Park, you come down at the bottom you can see this very interesting bottle, big bottle, very, very big. There are little ships inside. This is the National Maritime Museum. This museum is free. It tells you all about, you know, the ships and the famous war uh, Britain had in the, in the history. Uh, yeah, this is a very interesting and free museum for you to visit. And on this side, that's Queen's House. So these two museums are free and they are just at the bottom of this Greenwich Park after you visit Royal Observatory. So this would be your next stop to stop to have a look. After you visit Cartisa and Royal Observatory, you can see probably all your observatory on top of that little hill behind me. And this White House is Queen's House. And then right beside this White House is National Maritime Museum. So these are four places you finish visiting them all. And then you come this way, just cross the road. And here is very beautiful Greenwich University. Uh, many of my videos, you can see this beautiful university because I live close by. So sometimes I come here to make some videos. <laughs> very, very beautiful building. And this is like a very landmark building for Greenwich. So when you come and visit, you have to come here and take some amazing photos. Uh, there is only one place um, over down there in old Royal Naval College, there is a painted hall. Um, just before COVID, it was, I think it was open, opened before COVID. Um, and um, it's been a few years, they've been decorating the, the painted hall. Because that's why it's called painted hall. And um, it was 18th century, like a very beautiful paintings. Uh, but just, you know, I suppose it like everything. Um, it starts dropping off a little bit. A little bit so um, they decided to paint the hole uh, they decided to paint the hole it's been I think a good five or six years that they spent there um, just painted the whole hole and then uh, now before COVID it was open to public and people could go and visit it and um, I think it's not free it's 16 pound 50 but the good thing is um, you pay for the ticket once and then you can use it for the rest of the year. So if you come back and visit again, you don't need to pay again. So it's valued for the whole year, which I think is really good and kids go free. Um, yeah, so if you come this side, don't forget to visit this place, Painted Hall. So behind me, this door is the Painted Hall. Uh, I do think it's worth a visit because it's so beautiful inside but it does require a ticket. So this is the third place you need a ticket when you visit Greenwich. It's Cartisa is the first and the Royal Observatory. And this place is 16 pound 50. Um, can't probably see inside. I've visited many times before COVID because uh, they just opened before COVID. It's just a beautiful painting here. Uh, as you can see, so it's, it is really beautiful. Well, since you already spent a day in Greenwich, you might just see it all. <laughs> uh, I think you can easily spend two hours there, but if you don't have time, I think one hour, um, you can roughly see everything. Um, yeah, so don't forget to come and visit this place. After you visit all these sightseeing places, don't forget this little Greenwich market. It's not very big, it's a small but lovely, interesting little market with a really long history, almost about 300 years. 
you can find some food and drinks here and also antiques and even designer stuff here and yeah very interesting and uh, don't forget to pop by and have a look the last thing we need to do is just to have a walk around in Greenwich this little town um, it has lots of restaurants and coffee shops and bubble tea shops yeah and some just full of different shops let's go and have a look That's everything for today and one day in Greenwich. It might be a bit too much, but I think you can do it uh, if you don't want to stay here for one night. Just follow my map and you can see pretty much everything you need to see in Greenwich. Um, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you next time. Bye.